comes down here, she's she's wild. Oh no! Oh, no. Keep an eye on her because she's the best. Did somebody call me? Hi. No. <laughs> Doing? I swear I didn't do it. We thought it would be a good idea to go check out the haunted room 400. Yeah, this is getting creepy already. They say that Ted Binion was murdered by Sandy Murphy. We're gonna get him up to 400. Oh, no, that, that door just opened. Who's checking out on me? Hopefully we can freak him out. <laughs> oh. Bottom line is this, he gets a little arrogant. You give me the cut curtain, I can cut it any way I want. I can hear him now. Ron, one more hand. Y'all are done. Y'all are done. Oh, I don't need it. Las Vegas, it'll make you richer than your wildest dreams. Then take it all away in the blink of an eye. And the staff of the legendary Binion's Casino has seen it all. They work in a city where anything goes. And each new day, you must expect the unexpected. But tonight, for the first time, what happens in Vegas won't be staying there. Spider doing oil painting all of a sudden. We had a uh, 50th birthday for Bob. I'm a lady, I oh yeah. am. 50, woo! Where does Barb go to party like it's 1979? Binion Steakhouse, of course. 24 floors up, away from the prying eyes of the casino floor. Barb, you know she's Canadian, becomes the showgirl she's always wanted to be. When she comes down here, she's she's wild. Come on, bitches! Let's go party! When they made Barb, they really broke the mold. I'm not wearing any panties. Oh, excellent, excellent choice. Longtime steakhouse waiter Mario has seen it all. He knows which side his bread is buttered. They're wonderful people, great people, the people you want to be around with, hang out with. You want to party with them. Barbara Long's the one. Keep an eye on her because she's the best. 50 big years. Or I dealt with that years ago. Yeah. Yes, much older husband. Yeah. There's nothing I'd like more than to go skinny dipping on the pool upstairs. <laughs> and who said Canadians are quiet and polite? Maybe she's just faking it. Mario, you guess? Just give me a little ham or something in one second, please. Because she's uh, like a regular, very good customer. We're going to uh, give him a couple of bottles of champagne. Albert thinks he's in charge, but I'm really in charge. After they eat, champagne? Yeah, a little, a little for a toast. I'll tell you what, I get the glasses, you get the champagne. How about you do something? Yeah. That'll be a good beginning. I don't have a waiter, I got Mario. You have to just make him think he's in charge. And so he's OK after that. So. Is he around here? Where is he? Mario, she's your best friend in life. I think you should propose a toast as well, my friend. It's always a pleasure when you're here. I love it. It's exciting. I love you. So. I love you, too. If you come back later in about an hour, we'll see the rest of the show. Oh, dear. I think I just showed my ass. <laughs> remember you. Remember you. Hey, oh. yeah. I'm going swimming. We're going swimming. We have you with bow-legged women. Today we're going to have Theo Smith come in, who's a friend of mine. And what we're doing is testing some new dealers, exclusively being some of the cowgirls, on some of the methods that people use to cheat. Even with a thousand prying eyes in the sky and 24-hour security, Binion still loses millions each year to cheaters. You guys in Vegas for? Depends on how much money we win or lose. Fresh off the boat. Fresh. Good luck, guys. We figured we would try to test some of the dealers to see what their skill levels are. Cowgirl Veronica has no idea Glenn's friends are undercover cheats. Part of her job is to catch them. If Theo and Nat are successful, it could mean her job. I've been uh, at Binion's for about seven months now. Pretty much, this is my first full-time nice dealing me. job. I don't like to uh, put my guard down, and I want to be respected. The guys grab a seat in the top spot for cheating. Divide and conquer. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. 
We'll sit on first and third base, which is almost like uh, a baseball field. Once they've turned their, their head to the left or to the right, whether it's at me, first base, or Nat at third base, they've lost total control over what we're doing on that side. Being loud and obnoxious is a common cheating technique. Distract the dealer. Distraction is used as a diversionary tactic to confuse the dealer and take her mind off what she should be looking at. Distractions being anything from me throwing him money to him throwing me money or asking the cop to waitress for a drink. Can we get a waitress? Can we get a waitress over here? Can I get a Heineken over here? Veronica's going to need something stronger than beer if she doesn't catch these guys soon. Shady gamblers and underhanded business deals have always been a part of the buried secrets of Las Vegas. Binion's is no stranger to rumors of mafia activity and even murder. There has been talk about uh, Binion's and uh, apparitions roaming the hallways. And when you're up on the up on the steakhouse, you can see down to the old Binion's hotel. And we know that there is nobody in there, but periodically a light will go on in one of the hotel rooms. But hey, anything's possible. Hi, Reed. I'm going to go up to the tower and do a West Tower check. Legend has it that the ghosts of Binion's past haunt room 400 in the old hotel. Right now, the hotel is closed for our remodeling and renovation, so it's, it's a little eerie up here when you're by yourself, especially, you know, later into the shift when the sun goes down. It gets a little, a little hairy at times, you know, I'm not going to lie. You know, you got 20-something floors to check, you're by yourself, no one's up here or supposed to be up here. Then you hear the stories about this ghost and haunted and what happened here. Barb's 50th is in full swing, but the party girl has gone AWOL. Where's Tanya and Barb? Uh, uh, you know, they're off to do that again. Oh, sh not again, guys, not again. I don't know which way. Every time Barb comes to Binion, which way? She's a very naughty girl. <laughs> Go oh, you're scared part me. of the show. Pull <laughs> okay, pull Oh, my God. I seen him getting into the elevator towards the pool. And I had to come after him. I got up here, bam. Skinny dipping. <laughs> We're closed. Fool's closed at dusk. Oh, oh no, I can't go in there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh come on, Mario. You know you want to. <laughs> Nothing says Las Vegas. Did somebody call me? Like drinking. Partying and losing your shirt. What happens in Vegas? I'm supposed to stay in Vegas, but I don't think this one's going to. <laughs> Back on the casino floor, undercover cheaters Theo and Nat are turning up the heat on Calgary Veronica. Can we get a waitress? Can we get a waitress over here? Um, she's, she should be coming soon. Theo ups the ante on his distracting ways, keeping Veronica's attention on him so Nat can make his move. Get your hands off there. I already I'm, I'm passed just, I'm, you. I'm, I'm, you just kept your bet. You didn't have that. Nat just added 200 bucks to his bet right under Veronica's nose. Did you just cap that? Yeah. Capping is really just putting more money on. It's like you have a bet of $10. By the time the dealer looks at everything, we may have started with 10, now we got 25. We never do that. Cheaters will cap their chips when the cards turn to their advantage. Let's go. Let's go, girl. Oh my gosh. Come on. Give me a card. If I have a bad hand because we put the cards up, he's going to distract her because I may take cards out of the shoe and try to create my own hand. I may try to make myself have a 20. 14, all right, job. All right, man, that's how you do that. Very nice. Being an expert cheat, Theo is obviously saving that card for later. No matter the time of day, Binion's cowgirls, Jenna and Roxy, have one thing on their minds. It's always happy hours somewhere in the world. Soda? Oh, across the street at Minion. Yeah. I'm a dealer of black giant ice. We both actually. Yeah. Don't tell me. 
Okay, let's look at this Minions being haunted. I have no idea about it. The Minions what? It's haunted. Oh, the bartender at the pool, which she's awesome. I just met her. Her name's Allie. She's the one who asked about the haunted room at Binion's, room 400. They say that Ted Binion was murdered by Sandy Murphy, but I believe it's true. Sandy Murphy was Ted Binion's girlfriend. Sandy and her secret lover allegedly murdered Ted to steal his riches. So we thought it would be a good idea to go check out the haunted room 400. <laughs> You're gonna go to the haunted room with us? Yeah, I'll go. Cheers. 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 Boldly going where a lot of men have gone before, Theo and Nat managed to pull the wool over Veronica's eyes while keeping their identity a secret. You tapped the table. Did I? Turns out she's not all that wet behind the ears. She's reached the end of the line. Excuse me, sir, you can't, you can't put your hands there, okay? If you do it again, I'm not to the floor. This is my area. Once your butt is there, this area set. is my area. This you. money here is mine. You have to actually make the casino employees think that they did something wrong, and you have to be confident in what you did, and make that dealer and that supervisor think, well, maybe I was wrong. Excuse me. The undercover cheats have pushed their luck, so Veronica calls for heavy artillery. Her supervisor or floor. New card over here. All right. I'm she trying broke. to pay. She and broke. they're double teaming. Are you sure, Veronica? She, she broke. Okay, okay, She's being very rude. Right, I just wanted to Theo seizes the perfect he opportunity to make blackjack. He didn't have a blackjack. Wait a minute, done. <laughs> You're not gonna pay me? I win here. I got a blackjack here. <laughs> You're done. I'm gonna play this place again. I'm out. By the way, here's your cards back. <laughs> so who knows how much money our undercover cheats really walked away with. Yes. <laughs> if the team is good and they come in, it's quick. It's three, four, five, six hands, win a couple hundred thousand, they're gone. <laughs> this cowgirl has lost some money. Look, look. Where the f have you been? Catching cheats is all in the day's work for Binion's cowgirls. But catching sight of a ghost is a little trickier. Jenna and some of her cow girlfriends are gonna come in here. Um, they wanna take a walk up to room 400. I guess they've heard some of the ghost stories, so. I'm scared. Will you hold my hand? Yes. We're gonna get them up to 400. I'm gonna pop the door, and when they get in there, hopefully we can freak them out. And scared girls love big teddy bears. Go get them, Yogi. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Jenna uh, has a tendency of coming on property when she's off. Um, kind of stretching my staff a little thin when she uh, has some, some drinks in her and some little altercations here and there. <laughs> Phil and I decided that we're gonna get a little bit of payback on them and that's how we set up the uh, East Hotel Room. The girls have all the essentials for ghost busting. High heels, designer jeans, short shorts. First the ghost, then the club. Scared. Look, there's shadows. <laughs> Upstairs. 400. Wait, what is this? What I swear I didn't do it. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just making my rounds. I heard all the noise. We want to go see the haunted room. He's hosted up, ready to go. Can, you know, room 400. Can we go see it? Well, we can take a walk. I'm going to go with you guys. Will you protect? Do you have your gun on you? I got my gun, but. Is that really a gun in your pocket, Harris? Can you, you know. tell us the exact story behind it? Ted, that, that used to be a Binion's family room. That was Ted Binion's room? Mainly for Teddy Binion, yes. Oh. Um, it was like his getaway from the casino. He'd go up there and entertain his guests and do what he did up there. It's kind of like a Of course, Roxy. This is Vegas, after all. Oh my god, that door just opened. It moved. As manager on duty, Ron doesn't have the time nor the luxury to scare the crap out of cowgirls. All right. Just another Saturday night, another day in paradise. He's got a more serious matter to attend to. There's a gentleman on five over there that I think, we had a little incident with him a couple of weeks ago, and I think he's playing, I think that's the same guy. He's a uh, card counter, not doing anything wrong, not doing anything illegal, not, not cheating in any way or something, but he's one of those uh, advantage players. A card counter is a, an individual that will track of the big cards versus little cards, manipulate his bet towards that, and it gives him a big advantage. Just like Rain Man, but without the snappy suit, 
or Tom Cruise. Once an advantage player, once we see what he's doing or something, as long as they abide by the rules, we're fine. But the bottom line is this, you know, he gets he gets a little arrogant. And as long as he doesn't upset anybody, I'm all right. But I can, I can hear him now. What do you mean? I can't cut it like that? You give me the cut card, I can cut it any way I want. That's right. It is the same guy, isn't it? See, see let me do my shenanigans. Ron has to act fast if the player's shenanigans aren't put in check. Customers around him are going to get turned off and leave. New deck shuffled is Ron's clue to get up close and personal. Now we're not getting a full deck. That's we haven't got a, but what, what else do we haven't had a full deck since I got it? That's just, did you see that? Did you see my, how much money I had, Ron? I've been trying to get a full deck out of this girl, and I can't get uh, like five hands out of her. I'm getting two hands, three hands, whenever it's going well, and then we're getting six hands when it's going the other way. Short decking is a term used uh, years ago. This advantage player feels that the house is the advantage. He doesn't think that they're letting him see enough cards in each deck. Time to shuffle up or shuffle out. Boom. Chotskis. Boom Chotskis. Ayo. Boom Chotskis. Sounds like it's not just a table that's a few cards short of a full deck. Like I said, I remember you. Maybe two or three weeks ago. I know you remember me. You know, the bottom line is, like I said, you know, we want you to play, we want your action, we don't mind it at all. You know, you got to uh, mind your piece. But you know, but you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. You no, know, like, everything yeah. we're doing is, is legit, and I, I just want to be able to see a full deck. That's all. Excuse me. Excuse me is right. Accusing the house of funny business is a serious offense. Do you go check that room a lot? No, it's the ghost. Uh, we, it's we the ghost. Think... Security Lieutenant Harris has been hatching a plan for Jana and her friends. Uh, Come on, it's all right. Just take okay. your time. Let's check it out on me. Okay. Okay. Cool. You want me to go? Yeah, I got flashlights, but I mean, there's light up here. We keep. Cell phone. It's minimal here. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Jana, Jana. All right. All right, I got you. I got you. Yeah, pick One them up more flight. <laughs> Just bury your face in my. <laughs> What about him? Oh, wait, that, that door just opened. It moved. It was open. It moved. No, it moved. Oh, Are you sure, Roxy? Because you're not wearing your glasses. <laughs> Be careful, Jana. With all of this racket, you guys really will raise the dead. No, you don't need that. So I'm going to get you guys in here, but kind of explore it, look around. You got a little bathroom up here to your left. Yeah, just in case they get scared. Come on in. I'm here. Come on, Roxy. Into the room, I was the first to go, and there was a body. I saw a foot, and I freaked out. Oh, oh my god! As soon as they got in, uh, all hell broke loose of them screaming, uh, shouting, running around. I mean, they bolted for the door. We had a, a person in there just kind of playing dead on the floor. They saw that, freaked out, and, and that's what they got. I had no idea I was gonna get punked. To see a body, oh, it scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie, it got me good. Security got me good. <laughs> you guys wanted ghosts, you wanted uh, thrills, you guys got it all. At the start of Veronica's second shift, Glenn feels the need to come clean about the undercover cheater she dealt with at the blackjack table. Everything's awesome. I just wanted to uh, give you a little heads up about what happened. We had a couple of guys that were in, and they were kind of giving you a hard time. They were uh, capping their beds and things like that. Well, they were two two friends of mine, Theo and, and Nat. Bought everything, <laughs> everything did well. I just wanted to let you know that. And yeah, and I had them sent I had in. a feeling. Did you? I did, a little bit. Yeah. I was like, nothing, nothing like that has ever happened to me before. You did an excellent job. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Keep up the good work, especially with the customer service. Okay? Of course. That, yeah, shuffling. 
On the other side of the casino, Ron, the manager on duty, has his sights set on the advantage player who's accusing the house of not dealing with a full deck. You all right? I want you to be all right here now. If I get a full deck, I don't know. I want you to be all right. You're getting a full deck. Come on, man. I'm going to ask you one more time. Just to kind of hold it down, just lower your voice. Lower your voice. I'm telling you, that wasn't a full deck. It's a full deck. You know, anybody that was sitting around him could hurt him because he was very loud. No way that was a full deck. Excuse me? Like, I don't, I don't, you know, there's no way. As long as he settles down, I don't mind. You know, he can play, but he's not going to run everybody's time, and he's not going to be over the dealer either, I'll guarantee you that. It ain't going to happen out here. Chotskis. Boom, Chotskis. Hey, oh. One more. We got one more. One more hand. One more hand. Ron, one more hand. You know what we did? There. The count was good. She started shuffling to protect the house, to jip the player. No, 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 no. Again, he was he was upset, winning or losing. Uh, he accused us of doing some things with the deck that we do not do. We do not. We don't break the deck, and we don't. We don't shortcut the deck. <laughs> is half deck blackjack? Half deck blackjack? Is that That's what it enough. is? That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Put them back in. That's enough. Y'all are done. Y'all are done. Oh, y'all are done. Oh, so I'm out of here. That's yes, sir. Yeah. That's it. No, I, like I said, you know what? Okay. That's it. Are we out? I don't need this. Get out. Let's get out of here. Yeah. We don't need this. Bottom line, he was accusing us of a lot of things, and I didn't want it to go out out on the public, and people were listening to him that you know that we did anything like that. And that's the reason I shut him down. There's, you know, there's no way that you could toss me out of a casino. I, I understand you're trying to take the, the public like, oh, everything's okay, and, and, and they told the company line. The truth of the matter is, he's shorting the deck. No, that's no, the thing. No. It's house protection. I'm doing nothing wrong by counting. The bottom line so, is that we cut the cards, we do that, we give you a fair so shake. Garbage. I just can't even hear it, Ron. Honestly, like, f I, I don't need it. Like, I need like another, another hole in the head. Like, I, I really do. Like, I, I just. I don't even need it. I don't even need it. I don't need it. It's supposed to be fair, right? It's supposed to be fair. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, guys. And he, he can count cards all he wants to, but we're there to protect the integrity of the game. We pay attention to the advantage players. Uh, at the end of the night, it can cost the uh, casino quite a bit of money, and that's, uh, that just goes directly to the bottom line. Bottom line, the dude's night at Binion is done. You know, sometimes we just have people like that. We are not going to do this. The whole thing is just out of line. I have never seen that woman upset. Never. Let's make a bet. If I have more than 100 at the end of the five minutes, take off your boots and show us your feet. Um, when they give me a challenge, it's fun to play with them back and throw it right back on them because that's what they're looking for. You are a mother Now it's time to go into cop mode. Go now or I'm going to arrest you. Las Vegas. It'll make you richer than your wildest dreams. Then take it all away in the blink of an eye. And the staff of the legendary Binion's Casino has seen it all. They work in a city where anything goes. And each new day, you must expect the unexpected. But tonight, for the first time, what happens in Vegas won't be staying there. the cowgirls, dealing with a potent mix of alcohol and testosterone is all part of the job. Being a Binion's cowgirl, you have to have the personality to be able to keep people at your table. And you have to have the top exterior because you do get the players that, that will push your buttons. A lot of the cowgirls will allow it to affect them on the game. I'm, I'm one of these top exterior people and I don't, you know, they can, they can get away with a lot of my table. Let's make a bet. Okay, let's make a bet. Side bet right here. I'm going to play for five minutes. Okay. If I have more than 100 at the end of the five minutes, you give me your number. <laughs> and if I have less than 100 at the end of the five minutes, I give you my number. Okay, that, that's a good deal. Is that a fair deal? Yeah. Jessica's already got this guy's number, but those are pretty good odds for Vegas. We want him to roll for me. One hand. One hand. Don't one ever one. put your hand down your pants with the dice in it. Never, ever. That seems like good advice, no matter what the game. Nine! Center field nine point is nine! If you don't roll a nine right now, Jessica is going to stop talking to us. She's not going to stop talking. She gets paid to talk, but she doesn't have to like it. Yeah. Jessica, do you have a boyfriend? No. Eight easy, eight, ha ha, no nine. All right, Jessica, if he rolls a nine right now, will you take your boots and show us your feet. Do you have a foot fetish? While Jessica considers her new pal's side bet, 
In another part of the casino, security has stopped someone who's acting suspiciously. What's your last name? Spell last name. Spell. He was standing there, not playing, not drinking, raises our flags. What's your name? Soto Mayor. Soto, Soto. Mayor. Yeah, player's card? No ID? No, I missed it. OK, because you don't have your ID, you can't be in the building. Okay. Well, the security, you go to the casino, you need an ID. If you don't get ID, you so throw away no. garbage. You don't need ID, but acting shady will get you carded. Well, once I started talking to Juan, I kind of realized that I was dealing with somebody familiar to the company. Um, he resembled someone I just got a flyer on for being involved in a purse theft across the street at our sister property. Where's your ID at, Juan? Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah where'd it go? I see. Is somebody? <laughs> I fell asleep and I got pickpocketed. I've heard that thing a million times. While Scott keeps his eyes on Juan, Harris acts on a hunch and heads off to check the casino's database. Started checking our system for him to see if I had any possible hits on that name. No hits came up. The gentleman wears the same hat, the same jacket, and has just the same clothes on every day. So I remember that, ran that back, looked through all our files, and I got a hit on him. And that provided me his real name. Uh, Charlie One Units at the F1 door. Go ahead and stand by with that subject. I've got some uh, paperwork here that IDs him at somebody else. I'll be up there momentarily. Over at the million dollar display, the customers are in a much better mood. All right, on the count of three. Egged on by Norman, the outgoing photographer. This might be their best chance to see $1 million. I like taking people's pictures. I like capturing the happiness in them. And who couldn't be happy sitting in front of a million bucks? Hi, you guys gonna take a photo? Yeah. All right. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at the camera right up there, okay? All right, you can touch the money, you can hug the money on the count of three. One, two, three. Next in line. General Manager Tim has heard about the great job Norman is doing. One, two, three. And wants him to help with his plan to promote the casino staff. I've got this photography idea where I want to try to capture some of the exciting people that we have in the property and take that and use it to market the property. Here you guys can touch the money, you can hug the money. Just don't try to take it because, you know, there's cameras everywhere. It's the people that make the difference. And that's the, our number one asset we have to this property. Are you of age? You look about 19. <laughs> right. Go ahead and step behind that money for me. I'm Tim. I'm Tim, the general manager. <laughs> nice to meet you. I tell you, Norman, I've been watching you over there. It's awesome how you act with these people and get the, the, the pictures out of them. I've got this project where I want to take some pictures of some of our key people, but I think somebody with your personality, you can get people to do things that other people can't, and that's what I'm looking for. So what exactly would I be doing? Well, I'm definitely freaking out. I mean, imagine having the general manager of your company telling you um, you've been there for two weeks and they want you to do something, so it's definitely kind of got me outside myself. All it is is I'm going to get you a really good camera, what I want you to do is go around the floor and find the people that you find are really interesting and get me some good quality action shots that we can use for some advertising. OK. Think you can handle that? I'm a little nervous, but I think I can do it. Be yourself. I can definitely do that. Nice to meet you, Norman. <laughs> you too. Thanks a lot. I'll get everything ready and get back to you, OK? OK, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. you know, I think Norman's going to do a great job at it. He's going to get us what we want. I hope that he doesn't expect me to be this professional photographer, because that's definitely not me at all. Newly minted photographer Norman is on the prowl, hunting for his first victim. I wonder if these guys will let us take a picture. Can I take a couple photos of you? Me? Yeah. OK. OK, cool. Thanks. Norman can't resist a man in uniform. What I'm doing is I'm taking pictures that are going to be used for promotional posters for the casino. I'm pretty nervous, especially since this is something that I've never done before. This thing is not turning on. Need help? Hey, there we go. Awesome. That has a lot of variety to it. OK, what do you think of that one? I don't know. Not a great start. But Norman has his sights on a bigger prize. Or is that a smaller prize? Back at the craps table, cowgirl Jessica has been offered a side bet. 
All right, Jessica, if he rolls a nine right now, will you take off your boots and show us your feet? Even for an experienced cowgirl like Jessica. Do you have a foot fetish? This is one very strange request. I mean, we've heard it all as far as boobs and everything else. But what he doesn't know is I'm like the anti-foot person. Like I have a foot fetish against my feet. Yeah, no, no, no. She knows you're gonna roll an eye. <laughs> Looks like Jessica and her feet are safe for now. If he doesn't roll a nine right now, you have to put on the cowboy hat and you have to do a little dance for us. Got it? When they give me a challenge, it's fun to play with them back and throw it right back on them because that's what they're looking for. You know, they're looking for something that's gonna toy with them just as much as they toy with us. Now, the shoe is on the other foot. He does roll the nine, so Jessica loses her side bet. But he is leaving with over $100, so her phone number is his. All right, so now what? We're done. We're this done? is how you win in Vegas. You owe me your phone number. I do. And I want to color these up, and I'm going to walk away a winner. Yes, sir. It would have been better to see your feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 no. If he would have come off a little bit stronger, it might have bothered me. But people like him absolutely make my night so much better and so much more fun. Over at the photo shoot, Norman is experiencing a tiny bit of resistance. All four foot eight inches of it. Excuse me, may I take your photo, please? Not now, I'm too busy. Behind you, ladies been working here for 24 years. It's been a great hotel to work for. It'll just Thank take you. one moment. I can do it right now, just really quick. But well, what if I could try to catch you while you're working? Somebody that's been in the property for a long time, she moves around that floor quick as can be. She's never stopping. I'm four foot eight, but I look five foot with my hair and shoes. Big hair, big shoes. I <laughs> do everything I can to look tall. Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you mind if I take a couple of photos of you? I want to take her photos so I can do a really good job and impress my boss. I know she has the exact look that we're looking for. I know you're busy. You're well, not going to take my photos. Um, Excuse me. Thank you very much, huh? These two are just simply not seeing eye to eye. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to capture the essence and the life of working here and the people that work here. You are just so amazing. Every time I see you, you're just so energetic. I'm responding to the fact that she seems like such a bubbly person, bigger than life. If you would just give me two shots, I promise you, I'll even make sure you have copies of them. You will love them. I'm sure that I would, but I can't have you taking me photos of me while I'm working. How about when do you go on a break? Oh, no. My break time is my break time. It's very frustrating that she's not letting me take her photo. I don't think you understand how important this is. Well, I realize it's important to you, but it isn't important to me. But I'm no. On my knees. I'm on my no. Knees. No I'm photo. On my knees. I'm no on photo. My knees. It's not a good idea. No, thank you. I don't get annoyed easily. No, it's just the no, no, and that's just all there is to it. This project might be too much of a gamble, even for Vegas. It's very important for being in the casino that we take other customers. And you can't do that if you're being distracted by someone wanting you to just constantly stop, take your picture, and all that. Yep, that's all I got. She gave me backside, hair, refusing to turn around. It's a shame. It would have come out really nice. It's not the time or the place to be doing that. There's really nothing here that I can even work with. Norman's feeling a little edgy. Tim's looking for a status report on a staff photo shoot. All right, so. Show me what you got. Miss Priscilla. Um, she was really hesitant. She gave me the runaround all around the casino. I did get some really good shots of, the, of her hair and the back of her head. She was really not having it, not at all. You know, sad to say that you couldn't get a really good shot on Priscilla. I mean, that's a little disappointing. But we've got to have that energy. That's what we want to do. So what are you going to try to do? Go back and try to get a few more shots? I, I can certainly try. Tim's increasing the pressure on Norman to improve his shots. This experience definitely makes me think twice next time I pick up a camera. I'm extremely nervous. Even after the rough start, 
Binion's general manager Tim is betting Norman can become a better photographer. It's a gamble. It's Vegas. May I take your picture? Let's see some of that personality come out. Norman's attracting attention now. This cowgirl hasn't met a lens she doesn't like. What are you doing? Just taking pictures of some of the people here that work here. I work here. I love pictures. Do you? Yes, I used to be a model, so really? yeah, well, you know, cool. I, think yeah. I can take some a few few photos if you'd like. Oh, well. Finally, okay. someone who's really into it. I wanted to do the photos because I've worked at Binion's for a long time and I just figured, you know, why not? You know, I'd be perfect. <laughs> One, two, three. This is looking eyes. good. Wow, you can definitely tell you're a model. But maybe a little too centerfold for a publicity poster. Love it. It was fun to, you know, take pictures again and be a part of something that, you know, represents the place that I work for. I feel like I found some awesome people to take photos of, but I'm also going to keep working on trying to find some more to give it a real complete package. I'm always humming a song when I'm around the casino. A lot of people who knows me, they can tell you I'm crazy. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. I'm Carlos Mann, I'm a pit boss. I think the reason I like to sing to women is because, number one, I like women. Yeah, but is this feeling mutual? Sing to a woman and you see how they feel. They love music. You kill me, you drive me crazy. <laughs> It doesn't take Norman long to zero in on Carlos and his dulcet tones. Hello. Hi. I'm Norman. Can I get a couple of photos of you? Yeah. Even if you keep singing. Go ahead. I connected the most with Carlos. He wanted to be a part of it. Finally, this is much more like it. A shiny, happy employee. But will everyone be happy with the results? Charlie One units at the F1 door. Go ahead and stand by with that subject. Back at the security desk, Lieutenant Harris has dug up some information on a strange man found loitering in the casino. Tell me that's not him. He gave me the name of Juan Sotomayor, but it's a hat that gives him away. Well, apparently Mr. Juan Sotomoto is actually Mr. Juan Rodriguez, who's a prior shoplifter. Now it's time to go into cop mode. Why are you lying to me? No, I'm not Rodriguez. No, Sotomayor. you're Rodriguez. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you, nothing. Why are you lying to me? We got you for shoplifting. Once you cross that line, you lied to me, and now I know you're a dishonest person. This is a street. Right, you need to go in, do not come back. We don't need you in here, we don't want you in here. So now it's time to go. Security out the F1 door, I want this uh, 408 HMA removed from my door front, please. Juan knows that Binion security has no jurisdiction outside the casino premises. Come on, two more feet. Go now or I'm gonna arrest you. Don't engage them, just wait till FSC gets out here and tell them I want to move off the door front. As long as they're out the door and moving up the street, we win, they lose. And Juan is definitely one sore loser. You are, you are a mother You're not welcome. With the shoot over, Norman shows Tim his best shots. I got some good ones of some of the security personnel. OK. Also got one of the cowgirls over there. Oh, that, that's good. So what else you got? I had some really good shots with Carlos. Oh, boy. I like that. That's welcoming. Mm -hmm. He's got his arms out like that and that smile on his face. He's a character. He was singing and everything. Carlos, uh, the way his body language was, it just said, welcome. And that's what I was looking for. That's what's going to send people, you know, get a reaction. We want right. them to say, hey, this is a fun place. These are fun people. I think he did a phenomenal job with him. Can you email me those shots? Um, and what I'll do is I'll pass them on to marketing. Okay. We'll get something made up and we'll look at it and we'll uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right. Thanks, Norman. Thanks Have a, a good lot. day. You too. Norman really did a great job. I mean, for him to get out on the floor, try to get those people to react for him like he did. You know, Priscilla, she kind of made him work for his money on the deal. And then some people like pictures taken, some people don't. And obviously, that's not something that she enjoys as much as Carlos does, obviously. Winning with the ladies isn't going to be the only thing on Carlos's mind. Wait a minute. 
women are the only things on his mind. Maybe the winning picture in Tim's poster promotion can tear him away for a minute. Oh, oh, I never seen that in my life before. Come and play blackjack with Carlos, the singing pit boss. Looks great. I like it. Cross this out up here. Yeah. Mustache to goatee. Let's get sure, a goatee sure. going here. And a mustache across here. You're just, be all right. You're just jealous. You're That's all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Where's Priscilla? I saw her passing by. Priscilla, look at the wall. Unable to make up his mind, Tim decides to use not one, but one and a half employees for the poster campaign. That is her hair. Can you believe they had a poster made up? posters up. That's okay. Don't put them up. Oh, but it's so cool. No, it's not. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We are not going to do this. Okay, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. Terrible. I feel like I'm being disrespected. I don't think it looks good. And no woman wants a picture taken of her hair to begin with. It, the whole thing is just out of line. I don't understand why they would put such a nice picture of you up there and put such a lousy that one of me. Be, it can't be that ugly. So I, I took them all down. I ripped them off the wall. I don't want them seen. They're horrible. I don't even know why they would put such a thing well, up. you know what? Let me give you my opinion about it. Bring me one. No. Oh. Where you have. Carlos feels that he has a way with women. Can his charms work on a very upset Priscilla? Is that but ugly or what? Wait a minute. It's ugly. Don't, don't, uh, let me, let oh. me look at it. Don't say anything. Okay, I won't say a word. This is really, <laughs> and that is a great idea. Honestly, it's a great idea. Being what upset, is wrong with it? You wouldn't even know it's me. Yes, everybody knows your hair oh, in this no. the, the whole oh, town. No. Everybody knows her hair. Everybody knows who she is. The moment they see that picture, they know it's gonna be Priscilla. There's no question about it. What do you think they're gonna think? They're gonna think somebody's having a very bad hair day. No, it's not a bad hair day, it's a nice hair day. 25 years I think I know Priscilla. I have never seen that woman upset, never. She's always happy, and that's one of the things that I admire of her. I want a copy of it for you. You have to sign it though. Oh, Do you think I see? You know, I think the, the pictures of Carlos and Priscilla were excellent representations of the property. And it just shows you something. When you see those people and you need to interact with them, you know why they, they represent this property so well. This is your signature. Honestly, honey, yeah. I wouldn't be lying to you. It looks great. It looks very nice. <laughs> Don't Thank hide you. it. It's beautiful. <laughs> he doesn't seem to think it's so awfully bad. Then, as I understood it all a little better, it was explained to me a little more, you know, what they were trying to do. Then I wasn't so upset about it. You know, I felt comfortable with it then. 